hello again on day three of Advent. Once again, we have this mighty and ancient tome to read these hidden scripts that have been uncovered for you. Off we go. The road from the east towards Yemen was dusty and long and Kevin, Gary and Wayne the camels were mildly fed up by the time they arrived. The three wise men found an inn to stay in. Are you sure you want to carry on to Bethlehem? said the innkeeper. I hear their inns are completely booked for weeks. They tied up their camels and got out their Christmas shopping list. Gold, frankincense and myrrh. Are you sure these are the presents we're supposed to buy? said Melchior. Absolutely certain, said Balthazar. Anyway, I looked them all up on Wikipedia to find out where they came from, then planned the route to make sure that we went to all those places. It would be silly not to get them now. Do either of you actually know what myrrh is? Caspar cleared his throat imperiously <coughs> and stated, Myrrh is the aromatic resin of a small tree native to Yemen, Somalia and Eritrea. Haven't you heard of Google? All the wise men were somewhat sore from sitting on Kevin, Gary and Wayne the camels for so long and as a result were feeling rather tetchy. At this point, Kevin the camel yawned loudly and then spat at Casper's feet. The innkeeper came out and said, Looks like your camel's got the hump. Ah! Hilarious, said Melchior dryly. I don't suppose you know where we can buy some myrrh around here, do you? As a matter of fact, I do said the innkeeper. You need to visit the wise old sage. He knows where you can find some. You guys should get along famously. The next day, the three magi set off on foot to visit the wise old sage, leaving Kevin, Gary and Wayne, the camels, at the inn. After all, they were wonderful pet owners and knew that their camels were naturally inclined to idleness, so they thought they might appreciate the time off. They approached the isolated dwelling of the wise old sage with trepidation. They had heard tell of his deep philosophical musings and were a little afraid that he might be wiser than them. Morning, said the wise old sage. You're here about the myrrh then, are you? Caspar gasped. How could you possibly know that? The innkeeper told me you were coming, said the sage. You should have asked me when I was in the inn last night if you hadn't been so busy feeding treats to those chubby indolent camels. Never mind, you're here now. I don't go round giving out directions to myrrh shops to just anyone. You have to prove your worth by solving a puzzle. The sage whipped out an ancient looking scroll and unfurled it before the wise men with a flourish. On the scroll was written, take one word from the first set of brackets and add it to the word in the second set of brackets to make one correctly spelt word. Are you sure this is the right scroll? I was expecting something a little more mystical, said Caspar sulkily. He had been hoping for a chance to show off how clever he was. Do you want a word that... Do you want to know where the myrrh is or not, beardy? Quipped the sage. Get on with the puzzle and remember this most profound of maxims. The word from the first set of brackets always comes first. Ta -da! So let's have a look and look at this, shall we? Now I think these are fairly tricky. So the first one we've got an and gel to make. Yes, Angel, well done. Then we've got four and told to make foretold. Then we have B and hold to make behold the heavenly host and then we have travel led to make traveled oh that's a sneaky one isn't that and then we have let's have a nice purple i always have to be a bit careful with this one descend an ant to make descendant and last but not least, A and round to make a round. Ta-da! Well, if they're as good as us, they'll be able to get to the merch shop, I'm sure. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Ooh! <laughs>
Maybe not. <laughs>